Behind the counter, we're back out of here. Uh, Monday, June thirteenth, twenty twenty-two. Mike, Steve, and I we're back out of here. Um, you know, right before we went live, I took a moment. I think hmm, I think it's really starting to wear off on people. Both Mike and Steve were tuning over here to a little Dan jingle. Steve was doing some kind of bebop and jingle over here. <laughs> Mike was doing a little. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't think I did. I yeah, you did for like you, you did for like so ten if seconds. I did. I was unaware. And then you exactly because now it's rubbed off on everyone. The Dan jingles. Everyone <laughs> walks around and makes fun of Dan when I do my little jingles and, and I'm, I'm humming a song to a TV show or a movie or something. And then everyone goes, oh, what or the or the Sunday night football theme song. Well, that's just night. a good song. Well, whatever. <laughs> but I'm always humming. And now you're just doing it. I sat and watched you. And you stopped. And then two seconds later, Steve started humming over here some kind of tune. I was doing the... When you uh, do the replica of, like, the exact song, that's a whole other thing than just your random jingles you do. You know what I'm saying? I was just bebopping to the our outro song. That's what I'm saying. That's another one. That's why I did it there, because it was a good song. Yeah. Do we have sound? We should have sound. Do we? Shoot. Can people hear us? Yeah, everything. You pop it up on your phone, see if you hear it. It's not coming through on my laptop. Is your laptop stupid? No. Could be. <laughs> yeah, the Eddie's going on there. That works. Well, that's the sound. I heard him right before it went. Okay, we put a money on this? Okay. How much money? Oh my god, it's freaking scary. <laughs> you heard us talking. I heard Steve talking right before Okay, it went. we're, we're going to wait. Yep, we're good. Are you sure? Yep. So you owe me So my, my, my laptop is stupid then. <laughs> I have a stupid laptop. <laughs> All right, well... You normally buy very stupid technology. Not really. This is like a top-of-the-line <laughs> Dell laptop. I'm, 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 I'm baffled as to why all of a sudden... Is that a Tom approved purchase? What? Is that a Tom approved purchase? No, it's a Dan approved purchase. That would purchase. make it stupid. It's like a top-of-the-line <laughs> Dell laptop. I don't think you can get what much... What was the other thing that he said was stupid you purchased? The it? camera? Not a Tom approved purchase? Would you say the camera is sometimes stupid, Steve? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's gotten stupider over time. I think you could definitely say... So, <laughs> let's just say I'm not surprised. Either way, <laughs> a lot of Dan jingles going on around here, so to start the show, <laughs> got to take a second to emphasize that. Um, so it's been what? Well, it's been a while since what? So it's been since April. Probably about a month or a little more. So part one of my Little League schedule is over with, so now we got a break for a while, and then part two starts up for all the tournaments, but it's not as crazy as part one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're back at it here. Behind the counter, we got Danny NASCAR tonight. So some um, schedule reshapes around. So we have, but we have behind the counter. High five will normally be after us, but they got to come in and film some new, film some new episodes. Yeah. So they'll be after us at, after after this at six. Then House Divided tonight at eight. Then we have Danny NASCAR at nine. No Look Podcast at ten. Monday Night Gaming at eleven. So pretty crammed uh, schedule tonight, and on Mondays moving forward. And then of course we're. We got Nerd Glasses and uh, Citadel Unchanged for tomorrow. And then uh, Dream Team Wetro Weekend for Wednesday. And then we still have Power Surge. We have a slight, no, we have a slight opening now on Thursday. So. Some uh, insane games live, potentially. Yeah. Could be. What is it right now? Surge goes until 7. He goes until 8. And then there's a gap from 8 to 11. So we need a good Thursday night show. Fortnite. Could play the quarry. <laughs> we could. Yeah. What we were what? discussing before the program, and Dan shot down before even listening. What, it sounded like it was a pretty stupid game. So what it's is it? It's just a horror game, and everyone gets to play as a person. Let me hear. Is it PC? No, it's any system. Okay, so let's hear. How's the game work? Mm, I guess it's mostly you watch, but you pick the decisions, and it leads to either your guy lives or he dies. <laughs> so there's no game to play. Like I'm not. There's some stuff you can mess up, like when you're running through the forest, you have to time stuff. Your guy trips and falls, and there's guns. It's kind of dumb, not going to lie. <laughs> it you is played it? Dumb. No, it just sounds really dumb. Wow. <laughs> it does have a pretty stacked lineup of uh, 
David Arquette is one of the characters. Uh, Brenda Song. A lot of people have been playing on Twitch to some solid viewership. What game is it called? The Quarry. Mm. It's a you like on a quarry and you're trying to run away from a it's killer? It's essentially like a poor man's Jason story. Kind oh, of. Jesus. Where it's like the camp and the counselors and the killers. That game is stuff. awful. You don't even know it. Oh, I know it. I know it, pal. <laughs> I've watched Dave, Dave stream it before. He hasn't even played that game. Jason? Oh, the Jason game? That's a different one. Yeah, well, you said it's very it's similar. It's kind of like that, but the game is better, probably. That game, and I, my comment back was that Jason game is horrible. <laughs> wow. It does take place in upstate New York as well. Whereabouts? North Kill. It's a small town. Is probably. it a made-up town? Probably. So it's just made up town in upstate New York. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we could have been up uh, town anywhere, though. A made up town anywhere. And they chose to go to upstate New York. We are the premier area. Game sounds pretty stupid, if you ask me. It, it How many does. people can play in it? Mm, if I look I up one four. video, is it going to look stupid when I look it up? How are the graphics? <laughs> the graphics are actually pretty good. What are they called? The Quarry. It's a very interesting one-time playthrough. It's a spiritual successor to Until Dawn. Give me a rundown, Steve. What is it? What's the background story of it? <clears throat> no, here we go. <laughs> Lark no Ernie. spoilers either. This has to be a spoiler. Uh, I'll do the first. Uh, first <laughs> I have paragraph. actually seen most of it played. So. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley drive to upstate New York in the middle of the night to visit Hackett's party where the two have been hired as summer camp counselors. Stop for a minute. Okay. Does this not spell <laughs> horror written all over? It's no different than any it horror movie. It's kind of cliche. Okay, they're driving up to, in the middle of the night, up to a camp for the summer. <laughs> okay, let's continue. The two swerve off the road to avoid hitting an unknown creature and crash into the woods. A local sheriff, played by Ted <laughs> Raimi, approaches their There's car. There's the sheriff. The brother, Classic. Of the, the brother of the Spider-Man director, I'm yep. pretty sure. Who? Ted Raimi. Never heard of Fucking him. respect it. Man. Uh, his brother also did the Doctor Strange movie, the new one. Some high star power, man. Uh, <laughs> Ted Raimi approaches their car and becomes suspicious of their situation. He orders Laura and Max to stay the night at a motel near Hackett's Quarry. But the two drive to camp anyway. When they arrive, they break into the basement to investigate something Laura saw, but Max gets attacked in the process. The sheriff arrives at camp, sedates Laura, and shoots at the monster in the basement. That's, that's, that's a pretty log. Pretty, uh, pretty gripping, wouldn't you say? So you gotta Dan watch wants, all that? Dan wants more. So no, you gotta you watch play, all that you explore, before you play? You find clues. Clues to what? To what the bigger picture of the case is. And that so, all depends on so your So if there's only again. the sheriff and the Ooh. two people, how can this game be... There's more characters later on. That's just the... Who, little Billy and Uncle Bob come flying in from, <laughs> from nowhere? Uh, and Uncle Jane and Mary Jane or whatever. The those other... two go missing and then it opens Who goes up at missing? the camp. But, well, two people he just mentioned. Max and Laura. So the two characters you described go missing and now all these other people show up? They're already... The it pretty much downstairs. exactly follows like a horror movie setup. Because those Seems people like go it. missing and then they go to the next day and they're at the camp. And those counselors didn't show up and then there's like five or six counselors there. So, you're not, you so when you between. when you play the game, you don't even get to be the two main characters that go missing. Those aren't the main characters. That's like, uh, what's that? They're the people that get killed off at the beginning of the yeah. show that no one really cares about. <laughs> is that, is that what it's you mean? just a way to show get you in and hooked on the story. Mm. Because then after that, the next hour is pretty boring. So the script seems very questionable to start. Now, <laughs> how do we? How does graphics? I will say look? its rating is a seven out of ten, and it's a little cheesy. But if you enjoy that kind of thing. And how are the graphics on this? They look pretty good. These mm. graphics pretty good. are some kind of questionable. So let me take a look here myself. They went, they're like next gen with like the face like reading motion capture, but then sometimes it goes super wonky and stupid looking. It's uh, what, what's like uh, the heavy rain and uh, mm. Detroit become human. Uh, okay. So. Their engine. Yeah. So yeah, like the facial expressions and stuff are super realistic, but that's like 80% of the time, then 20% of the time they'll have like one eye closed or 
their teeth will be like wicked huge. Or... Wow. <laughs> Dan's looking at it and he likes it. I'm looking at it and it seems very questionable. I want a fucking apology, Dan. Uh, for what? For your quick dismissal. I mean, they're not even using <laughs> flashlights. They're, they're, they're using their flashlight yeah. off their phone. Yeah. Kind it's of a modern stupid. day, uh, modern day horror. That would probably be what a lot of people would be using in a situation like that. Mm. Everyone has a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> the old Diablo. You that Diablo is. reference? Mm-hmm. Everyone has a cell phone? Well, that's, we can go into that after you apologize for saying that game stings. And I'm not going to apologize. And quite frankly, I'm not at all slightly interested <laughs> in Diablo, so we can move those. on from that topic. It's basically... Uh, it's just a poop on it. Who? Yeah. Diablo. The developers, they make, uh, they're they making a... They did make it. It was released like last week. A mobile Diablo game. Everyone was complaining because it's on the phones. The one guy goes... Hey, don't y'all have phones or something like that? To the <laughs> everyone audience. was booing. It was uh, the announcement of it, and he's like, "Why are you guys booing? Don't you have a phone or something?" Yeah, but just recently. That was a while ago, but now the game finally came out, and mm. it's horrible. And it says that you have to spend like upwards to a hundred thousand dollars to get everything if you wanted it. And real money. <laughs> And they, I think its rating online is like zero point something out of ten. Oh wow, we, we, we really put it's the bar zero on that point one. Something out lower than so they one. can't even get a one. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. Or is this seen one of those classic the EA trolls went in there? Just like they used to troll the EA games, they used to knock the ratings down as low as possible. There is probably a lot of that. Uh-huh. It's actually at a four point five out of oh, five uh, on the app. They store. probably removed the. Uh, <laughs> they probably removed all the, the negative troll comments. Reviews. <laughs> So they probably have two good ones that make it a, a positive five out of five. Probably, yeah. In the end, it doesn't really bother me because I don't really mobile game anymore. Well, in the end, it sounds like this game's a good old pass on it's the Dan uh, uh, column. <laughs> I think it's a pass for everybody's column. I'm talking about the quarry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that would be fair because you don't even play NASCAR anymore. Let alone. <laughs> Steve's like... <sighs> if they had a better game, it'd be easier to play. It's getting so too repetitive. Is it not? Is it not getting too repetitive? It's getting way too repetitive. We've been playing NASCAR. I mean, it's a great... What is, a- I mean, every game's the same. I no, 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 no. It's let me the tell you, tracks, let me, you no, no. Let me tell you how the NASCAR drivers. works, Mike. <laughs> when I'm playing NASCAR, I want to drive the new cars right now. I don't want to drive the cars from four years ago. I guess that Just like when I collect diecast, I want the new diecast, not the old diecast, not the ones that are two. I want the new ones coming out. That's how NASCAR works. When NASCAR comes out, you want to play with the new. <laughs> it's like when you play with Madden and Russell Wilson goes over to wherever the Broncos now. You don't want to play with Russell Wilson on the Seahawks anymore. I think that's equal. You want to play with Russell Wilson on the the Broncos. Or you could do what Nico does and manually switch all the people yourself. Well, Nico's a weirdo. So. <laughs> Okay, the NASCAR game is a great game. I, I, I praise it as one of my favorite NASCAR games, but it's at the point where it's way too repetitive. Dan, it's the same game no matter what. what you you race around the tracks, I mean, and the, the game, winner wins. But Steve! If the game is actually good, it wouldn't be that bad. Like, NASCAR How 20, is that game NASCAR like any different? NASCAR 21 actually has a good racing mechanic. You're out there racing. This game sucks. That game would be no different than that, other than the matchmaking services, is why you don't like it. Yeah, if it was a lot better than, like, matchmaking, that would be... So that has nothing to do with why it's... Repetitive. Oh, it does. <laughs> it does. It has everything to do with it. They actually provided a great uh, game and actually did their job. I don't know, people who make games, how about we do their jobs I'm going to be good a troll, and I'm going to say NASCAR Heat 5 might be one of the Let greatest me put it this NASCAR way. games of all time. Let me put it this way. Steve with his shaggy hair and me and my big nose, we could have made a better NASCAR game than those fools that are making millions of dollars over there doing it. I think anybody. I mean, the most recent one is terrible, but Heat 5 is a pretty good game. And I'll throw Mike in with his big head. The three of us could have probably definitely made a better NASCAR game than the guys over there that have degrees and make a million dollars. Am I wrong? I mean, there's three things that separate us from them. One is we don't have ties with uh, Russia. Two... <laughs> If you haven't started as as a second money laundering <laughs> scheme, like Motorsport Games is, and three, we're actually competent. <laughs> yeah, that was just for pure money how they did that. So what is the deal with the Na- Did they lose the NASCAR license? Nope, they still have it. 
that's they're not doing the game net this year, but they're doing an add-on for NASCAR 21. But they are releasing a... It's probably the worst news possible, what you're saying right now. A <laughs> Switch version of NASCAR 24. I don't want to play on the Switch. Sorry, Steve. Fake games go to the Switch. Not real games go to the Switch. Okay? I guess that's a whole topic we have to discuss, too. Dan's execution and killing of his Switch. And he made it's, Steve swing the ass. It's still hanging on by a thread out <laughs> It is what it is. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So right before the little hiatus, Dan just got a Switch and was super happy to play. I was relatively intrigued. <laughs> I played some deep... the time back. of his life. I was playing some Mario Kart, and then this became I didn't have time, and it was sitting there. I go, time for it to go. And I brought Steve in. I go, Steve, we'll wipe it and put it in the case. <laughs> and he did just that. It's a sad day. You had to pour one out for it. <laughs> By doing so, I think you admit that you defeat to Steve in Mario Kart. Though. No, not at all. Because yeah, you didn't even play, and you handed your very playing thing over to the champ and no. told him to take I it. I would absolutely <laughs> destroy. Are they doing a Mario Kart League anytime soon? Not yet. When? Probably in a couple months. I'll let you know. And I'll buy another. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'll walk into the CJ Playmaker Mario Kart League. I'll slap CJ around. I'll slap Steve around. I'll push Dave down, and I'll go, and I'll take the win. I'll take the title. That's what's going to happen. Who else is in that league? We'll have to see. Who else I is in the league? It. It's a uh, few people in any hands. Our Canadian friends. Alec? Alec? Cody? John. Not Cody. Alec, John, and Oh, I Remy. like that Cody guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we say Brenda or Brenzin? Brendan. Oh. So they're janitor Brenda. That would be a funny inclusion in the thing. I'll smack him into the wall. I'll smack them all into the wall. Well, I'll hit one sweet. red shell after another. <laughs> they won't know what's coming to them. By the time Brendan gets going from after the, my my Make first three red shells, I'll be back right around there. coming and doing a lap around them again. We'll, we'll have to see. Well, we will see, Steve. There we go. Thursday night, Mario Kart. I don't have a switch anymore. I don't have a switch. <laughs> I'm semi-retired until the, I I know I'm gonna show up. It's like when people show up for the major events. I'm gonna show up when the major event, the CJ Playmaker League, starts. I'm going to pull in to the Daytona 500 version of their race over there, and I'm going to pull in with Toad, okay, and I'm going to <laughs> smack everyone around on my little I don't bicycle. I use Toad anymore from what I've heard. I use DK. <laughs> That's more Even like worse. <laughs> There's nothing worse than getting hit with a big blob like uh, DK, smacking you around and flatten you out. <laughs> There's no worse thing when you get to... <laughs> and, then and your car just goes... Doo, 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 and it floats like this. I've always this, been a fan of Harambe. In a good old Mario Kart. I will be brutal. <laughs> the only thing that could be better is if Boater himself got in the league so I can smack him around there as you well. Go, the Boater shot. The only thing that could be better is I can show Boater up in my racing skills as well because I am my, by far a far superior race car driver than Boater. Boater puts a lot of time in on Forza, and that's great. Okay, that's street racing. That's not NASCAR racing. racing. Is racing. I mean, yeah. mm, not really. <laughs> Boater drives around in his little Pontiac, whatever, and he, and he, he makes you kind of hit the curve, and, he does it, and they tap a little bit, and the paint gets all screwed up, and then you get penalized. I'm not in for that. I'll run my bumper into you, I'll spin you out, and I'll get by you, and I'll get the win. Rather, it's a Mario Kart, NASCAR, Need for Speed, whatever you want. But, like, that's how actual racing is. You gotta hit the curve, the apexes of each turn. That's how you mm -hmm. go fast. It is what it is. <laughs> He just broke it the fuck down the other day the, uh, about the apexes and the Not curve. really. <laughs> New Forza Motorsport comes out next year. I, 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 don't, I don't cross into that territory. You're not, like, you don't like the realism and the realism? I, I, I think the realism is great, but I'm not looking to race where, where, you, where you, you, you tap a car and you get a, a scratch of paint off it. They, they, it, 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 I'm not looking to do that. <laughs> just the paint scratching? Well, I'm, I'm just picking on the game a little bit, but it's not... It's full of detail, but it's not racing. If I want to race like that, I'll take my Durango out on the road and go out and race in real life. When, when, I, when I meet up with people at the red light and I hit the gas in the Durango and I blow right by them. It's Hemi Powers, Mike. <laughs> That's real. Over. If I want to do Forza, I'll go out my own car out on, on, on Route 50 out here and I'll pass people on the green lights. 
I mean, they have the Durango and Forza. That's great. I don't think the Durango would hold up against the top tier races. What was the one that we had the game? That, what was the game that we popped in out there that had the Durango? Uh, Forza Horizon Five. That was Forza. Yeah. Mm. That's the <laughs> less realistic open world version. Which we all recommended you play. And yeah. I did. A, I did a race with it. And oh, it was yeah. awful. They I have NASCAR in it too now. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I did cross into. I, I went from. I went from the switch. I crossed over to iRacing for a minute. That's even worse. Did you try that? I. You know what? That has so much potential to it that you have to race in the cockpit. Wow. You guys, how you have to race? What? Realistic. I don't want to be realistic, Steve. <laughs> I want to race. You so know after what? all no, that, no, 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 no. no, no. I'm <laughs> sure it's probably pretty good. But if you want to do iRacing the right way, you gotta get the three monitors. All like this. You gotta get the, 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 the steering wheel. You gotta have a steering wheel. You can't race you can't race in the cockpit with the controller. Nice. You can't. You gotta have the actual and you gotta have you gotta be able to do the thing where you turn your head and you can see out to this and it's gotta be like if you're gonna go into eye racing, you gotta spend the money and do it the right way. That's how that's what I've learned from just watching that. The paint schemes look pretty cool, everything <laughs> looks pretty cool. I mean there's always N R two thousand three that I can throw on the computer. And then I also realized that it's all about money in iRacing. racing. Yep. You gotta spend money. You gotta, you, keep, you don't even get the tracks. You gotta spend twelve wow. bucks to get a track. Wow. Wow. Ridiculous. For 12, one pre, track. What? Pretty much. They get eleven ninety nine for every track. Do you want to race bristle? Eleven ninety nine. Want to race bristle in the dark? Eleven ninety nine. Want to race bristle in the dirt? Eleven ninety nine. Some of the like older track, the legacy tracks, like how uh, Phoenix used to be, where the front or the starting line was on the long front straightaway. You go into turn one and then you have the dog leg. That's like five, but still though. So what you found out is that NASCAR D five is a pretty good game. No, what I found out <laughs> is someone needs to make no what I found out is someone needs to make a good NASCAR game and we need to be able to move on. That has everything that it should have had from the beginning. Tony Stewart's league. SRX is pretty fun. <laughs> Alright, what else do we have going on since we've been on the air last? When we did a Comic Con, I think. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Sold a lot of stuff. It was super busy. Record breaking sales. We have another one coming up, the Mid Hudson Comic Con in July. Should be fun. Yeah. We, we gotta figure out who, but someone's gonna go on a road trip for that. We had a, a little bit of a run in with Wild Bills <laughs> when we were setting up. <laughs> You want to go into that, Dan? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> was it a run-in, or what was it? It was more of a curb hop. It was a confrontation, <laughs> if you ask me. There's two men trying to get into the building. So, so, <laughs> so, so, so let's, let's, let's break it into perspective, okay? Steve and I are driving down the road, right? We come up. It's hard to explain, okay? But there's a sidewalk, okay? And most people who know sidewalks, they have the little ramp in the sidewalk where you can drive up on them. What do they call those? Uh... I think they're just... A ramp? Uh, yeah. yeah they, 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 it's not a normal sidewalk, but it's where you can drive up onto a sidewalk. Because it's a convention center, and they have a garage there. So to get to the garage, you'd be able to drive up onto the sidewalk. So it goes down where it flattens out with the road, and then go back up to a curb. So we come up on it. There's only one way into the sidewalk. Okay? Now, the sidewalk is like five sidewalks wide. Because they allow cars to park up there. For the sole reason of unloading and unloading for the Comic Con or any convention they have there. So, the Comic Con is Saturday and Sunday. So, Friday, they open it up where vendors can drop all their stuff off on Fridays. Now, that's the first time we've had this. So, Steve and I come rolling out. And we're, doo -doo 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 -doo. we're coming, coming down. <laughs> I really know. Steve's on his first adventure in the Comic Con. I'm on my, like, my 12th, 10th, 15th, whatever. So, I, it's, it's all custom to me now. So we come in really early on Friday. It's like, what? What time is it? It was like, yeah, we come in at 9. So it was like 10 o'clock. Yeah. Because I was a little late getting the U-Haul. So we get everything packed Thursday. We pull in Friday, load up the van, and off we go. And it's only like a five-minute drive down the road from the store. Yeah. We're not going far. So we come up, and I don't know who this wild Bills thinks he is, okay? <laughs> okay? But we come flying down the road, and we come up, and this guy is parked. On the road, okay? Now, now, there's no curb. Okay, you have the sidewalk, and then it's road. 
There's no curve. There's no. You can't pull over on the side of the road and car keep coming by. It's no. a two lane road. So this guy is smack dab in one lane of the highway, blocking the sidewalk for you to pull up on, and he's like blocking it. Am okay. I wrong? So yeah. I stopped. Some of the wheels were like on the one side of the sidewalk, and the back of the trailer was. Past the curb, right? Past the ramp, through. and people were headed. So I come up now. Now there's no median between this side and this side of the road. It's like the double line, and that's it. So we st- now we have two lanes on our side too. So we come up and I stop with my blinker on because I need to turn in. I got like 20 cars behind me and cars moving around me on this side. Cars moving around them on this side. So what do I do? See, if I go like this, I go. <laughs> like, I need to get in. And what did he do? He sat there and he did this. <laughs> and I again went. And he sat there and went. <laughs> and then I kind of said, didn't I do like a kind of move up or move? I did something where I said, either move. Oh, can you move up? And he went. <laughs> and now at this point, it started out nice for like the first, yeah. what, 20 seconds? And then I became angry, Dan. Like, within. Now, you know, I'm seeing. We, we are parked in the middle of the road are you for how long? with him, blocking both lanes at that point if you're talking to him? No. Not so. Cool. He was on the right lane of that side. So there's lane four right lanes between the whole road two that go this way, oh, two okay, that go this okay. way. I'm blocking one, trying to turn in, and he's blocking the other, so cars are having to go around us. So when it came to a point where there's no cars coming. They all went around me and they all went around him. And they got there was a red light up above. So now there's no car. And I go, hang on, Steve. And I f- put my foot on the pedal and I turn and I go over and I drove that some bitch right over the goddamn <laughs> sidewalk right in front of him. And but the whole van must went. <laughs> and it, well, then I it was terrifying. And, and Steve was like this. <laughs> in the front seat. <laughs> you gotta imagine the guy probably in his van watching, and I'm cursing like a mother effer, driving over. See, you gotta be like, and this guy's watching both of us hopping over the curb, and I pull in and I park. How qu- he got out of his van, he got out of his truck. Like, that. like he goes, I, I got a fucking. 10.30 appointment to get my van in there. And I get, I, I open the door and I come out and I and I go, excuse me, I go, all I need to do well, park on the sidewalk, pal. I go, you can have out there. All you have to do is go, I don't have to do it. Do you know who I am? <laughs> and again, I go, do you know who we are? <laughs> like, we sponsor the event, pal. <laughs> like, well, who are then one says a day? He really, he stopped talking after that. Yeah. You just go, I'm, I'm, I go, all you have to do is pull up so we can back in. But you want to be an asshole and take up the entire road. The, all you have to do is move up. Now, did or, Dan use these words? Or is yeah, it was. <laughs> Steve was a little taken back. I was swearing like a truck driver out there. Not only that, but when we were all parked and stuff and unloading the truck, they opened the garage door, and then he pulls forward. So, yeah, so, so now as, as I pull in, now the garage door starts opening, right? Yeah. And you two guys are sitting there watching, like, because me and this guy are still going back and forth. Yeah. And I'm char- I'm chirping, and I, he's like, yeah, I have to back in there. I go, I'll move my van back. Fine, so I, pull, I pulled it back. I go, all you have to do is pull up so we can slide in. And so what did you, you end up doing to get in in the first place? <laughs> so to back in, to back in and back down to, and we can drop off and stuff, he had to pull up. Yeah. So all he had to do was pull up in the first place. He didn't need to block the whole road. The guy didn't have any brains in his head. <laughs> and you know what? I like the place. I bought two mugs from them. They do make good soda. I don't care less about the soda. I just wanted the mugs. <laughs> I drink all my drinks out of the mugs at home. The guy would be in a straight eight asshole. And he was blocking the road. And you know what? When I see that guy in November, because I'll see him again, and I'll make sure I plan it. I will make sure I plan it. You should make a ten thirty appointment. Oh, I'll be there. I will be there at t- I will be there at ten o'clock, and I will have my van blocking that road, and I will make sure he gotta give me that go. And I'll just go. That's what I go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pal, not happening. That would be pretty petty. Outside of that, we had a great event. We brought in, we loaded everything up. That guy, me and that guy, gave the. He got the, the eyeballs a few times. We crossed it. We, when we were unloading, he was unloading. And then he knew he was being a jerk. He was being a jerk. Well, he got put in his place. Just because good. they have a soda machine doesn't mean that they, they, they have the rule of the land, the rule <laughs> of the roads. Because they got a trailer that sells soda. 
We could probably just bring our own trailer with a bunch of cans of soda do the same thing. <laughs> I'm sure I could put some Diet Cokes out in a cooler and sell more. We're just going to have to call it Insane Build. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they always have a line. They're not stop busy there. Yeah. Well, they're just getting sold up. It's an easy sell. You drink it and you're done with it. And you probably that said, I have no interest in drinking their specific <laughs> soda. By any means. I bet there would be a flavor you'd like. No, not at all. The Wild Bill's Diet Cola. So well, it was it was a it was a success. We ended up having our highest Comic Con there. We had we actually we extended the booth this year. We went three tables, and then I wanted five when I got there. And Sam said no. He said, "Dude, take it easy. I can't do that." <laughs> was that I was I was, was that not? Yeah. I was not even there for five minutes. I go, Steve. All right. I said, Sam. I go. I want these two tables down here for the fall one. He goes, Dan, Dan, I can't do it. It's too many tables. <laughs> and I said, I can't take this whole column. So really, we can make our we can make the video game booth down at the other end. Yeah. We can have. There was a little bit. Do you think we had too much space this time, or no? no. We didn't even have enough space. <laughs> we no. jammed that bitch up, and we sold a, we sold a <laughs> ton of stuff. We just didn't have any room for any games again. The question I have now is: Do I go with the same size booth at this Mid Hudson one or smaller? Does it have to see? I'd go a bit smaller because Mid Hudson is just. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's Poughkeepsie. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. But I looked up, it's like, no, I looked up, it's like right in the middle. It's, I looked up, it's in Poughkeepsie. It's a great smack in downtown Poughkeepsie. I don't know why you call it the Mid-Hudson, but it's like right in Poughkeepsie. The mall, like the big four-story mall they That's have. That's in Poughkeepsie. It's right across <laughs> the, uh, the, the river on the other side. It's a pretty big area. Let's see. Poughkeepsie population center. I don't. It'll probably be a good one, but the Saratoga one's just always been our best one. So. Well, yeah, he said it only does mm. three, four thousand population or attendance. There's, yeah, they have a town-wide population of thirty thousand, whereas Saratoga has two hundred thirty thousand. Uh, but Kipsy only has thirty thousand. Yeah. How is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> it's just what it is. <laughs> that was the population as of twenty twenty. Poughkeepsie only has 30,000 people. 30,341. Mm, there's something else going on in that. <laughs> See, they have the biggest mall in like seven states surrounding us. Albany has the biggest Walmart in the world. That's, that's not the point. The point <laughs> is they have the biggest mall in this Poughkeepsie Galleria. It's like the biggest mall. It's like a four-story mall. Four stories. That means after you get to the second one, you still got two more to go. <laughs> Don't have to that What? <laughs> it's, 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 it's the truth. You go through story one and two. When you're done with story two, you still got two more levels to go. That does sound like an insane game. It's got to be a bigger. It's got to be a bigger population around Poughkeepsie then. Let's look at the map. Who uh, fucking broke Kylo Ren's lightsaber? It's been broken. It's broken a long time. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I tried to repair it. Who with broke wood. it? <laughs> I tried to repair it. I with want wood some fucking names. <laughs> it wasn't me. Uh, it is Hyde Park. Who? Town Heights. Uh, Fairview. Nothing of note by Poughkeepsie. Arlington. Hmm. I'll do some more research on this. By the way, do you feel like it's cold right now? No, it's perfect. Exactly. It's better than it was earlier. It's a perfect 72 degrees. I bet it's not truly 72. What do you mean? I, bet I switched it last week. I we had it 70, <laughs> and it was freezing <laughs> when I came. It was absolutely freezing. This is 72, and it's very. It's back to like our old days at the old insane I'll make game. Sure I make that adjustment. Like, nope, I am at 72. If I feel even a slight bit of hot, I will. Beep beep beep. You shouldn't have to. <laughs> those units, those AC units, aren't meant to be abused. I don't think an extra degree or two is. Really oh, it will be when it goes down in the middle of the summer. And I'll remind you, well, you know, Mike, you had to have that seventy for all <laughs> those days, didn't you? You could have had that seventy-two, and it wouldn't be overworked. You would, would have AC right it. now. 
that's not the difference that breaks. When it. you try to have yeah. an AC unit running at 70 degrees when it's 90 something out, oh, other than then 72 would. There will be it. a difference. <laughs> 72 would break it just as much as 70. Nope, would break it. that's a big difference operating 72 to 70 degrees. It's no more different than 74 to 72. Exactly. And if I 74, <laughs> it'd be barely working. I bet you it'd be relatively comfortable in here. It'd be hot as hell in here. At 74? Yeah, I was dying out in front all day. <laughs> At 72. <laughs> it was absurd. It is freezing back I'll here right I now. I had to chug Gatorade. It was so bad. <laughs> That's unacceptable, dear. You guys had, didn't even know until I just said something. I know it's not that hot, but if Steve is claiming it's hot, then that's unacceptable. I think it's perfectly fine. <laughs> well, sometimes when all the lights get going and all the game systems are running, it gets hotter as the time goes on back there. Yeah, and that's when the unit kicks on and keeps it cool. The microwave back there. <laughs> Should I do it now or after the program? Oh, we're not doing it at all. <laughs> Don't make me put a lock on it. You wouldn't fucking dare. Oh, I will. I will one step ahead of you, and I'll have Tom put a lock on it on 70. <laughs> I'll, put it, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have it where there's a key code. You have to put in a key code to change the temperature. And oh, I it's possible. Get, and I will get that code. Oh, it's possible. I will just rip the little unit right off the wall. Just need a crowbar. <laughs> exactly. Don't play games with the thermostat, Dan. No one's playing games. We have anything else that's going on? We'll talk about those next time. Uh, Y'all want to try some gummies? No. Dan, let's go. I I'm not Dan, tasting mac and cheese gummies. <laughs> right. That is absolutely disgusting. Story time. No. Nope. Let's go. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I went to Five Below. To no, now, you, now you got to eat it. Nope. <laughs> that's absurd. No. You put it on the table, you have to eat it. The, the table's clean. Still. No. You're not going to expect someone else to eat that now? <laughs> I'm not eating that cashew looking it doesn't, even, it doesn't even look like a cashew It looks like a cashew, it looks like a peanut It does It that's looks better if you put two together And it's like an actual noodle <laughs> They are get in the box. licensed Kraft macaroni and cheese gummies <laughs> And they're very okay <laughs> So it's basically just the shape and the likeness that they pay for because the flavor is not cheesy at all. So it's not mac and cheese flavor. It's no. a fruit flavored gummy. So it just looks like mac and cheese. Yeah. Try it. I don't want Dan, to try it. And then the noodles are a lot more thinner than that. I know. It's a gummy. It's like uh, If they're going to make it look like a real gummy, <laughs> what's happening to make them thin and then and, uh, not wide? That looks like a cashew. It, it does look, not look like a cashew. It looks like a cashew. <laughs> From far away, it kind of does. <laughs> It looks like a uh, smushed macaroni, like a flat one. Or like one of those big ones that you get. Not at all. That aren't. You've never like seen one that's completely smushed flat? No, I hate <laughs> mac and cheese. Actually, I like mac and cheese. What the? F <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> I like it occasionally. Oh, let me put it this way. I hate it. Let me put like it this it. way. Like let me it. put it this way. <laughs> if someone made a big dinner and mac and cheese was a side, I would eat it. Would I ever go buy a box of mac and cheese just to eat it? I'm, I'm in the mood for mac and cheese. No, I wouldn't. I don't think anyone does it. It's just a very affordable snack. It's pretty good. I, uh, <laughs> when I Isn't it like a quarter for a box or something like that? It's very much. cheap. They have the uh, little cups that was what I was snacking on while y'all were at the convention. You were just sitting here all day eating mac and cheese? They have the little cups. <laughs> they add water to it in the microwave. They're good. You were eating them all day? Not all day. I had a four pack and it lasted me two days. So you had two a day. Pretty much sitting here chowing down a little mac and cheese all day. Yeah. I actually do like those though. Oh, well, one They're was lunch, good. one was dinner. They're a little small for a whole meal though. Did you supplement that with the uh, candy bar? Yeah. <laughs> Dan did just restock all the goodies back there. We're already getting low on sun chips, pal. Oh, then I'm not getting any more. <laughs> not for a while. That's a favor. That's a new established that needs to be restocked quite often. Nope. The Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips. And I'm going to do a formal investigation in the high chews, too. <laughs> I got a funny feeling everyone's been munching on those, and they... Uh, I may have taken one or two. One or two? All the strawberry ones are gone. I didn't eat the strawberries because that was the easiest. Did you sell. sell a lot of them? I bought some for myself during my shift. Mm. The 
the strawberries? Yeah. All the strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> All the strawberries. <laughs> you have the strawberries. That was a Caesar strawberry culprit. The All strawberry I bandit. <laughs> I mean, I pretty much devoured all the grape ones. The grapes were probably my favorite. I'm going to stop and buy some more. The banana ones are awful. They're not that bad. The flavor's good, but it makes it feel like you're choking. When you it does make you cough it. after. I have noticed that. <laughs> Slight it weird. seizes your throat. It's absurd. Slight weird effect. They have, like, all different flavors, like soda flavor and... High chews? Yeah. Nope, not interested. <laughs> You wouldn't try it? No, I think I you did. I wouldn't. The one time you went to Crossgate and no, Nico bought them? No, I didn't. They had. Uh, I think you tried it. Let's see. Uh, blue Hawaii, blue raspberry, rainbow sherbet, raspberry blueberry, black cherry, watermelon, green apple, black dragon cherry. fruit, uh, strawberry, grapefruit, kiwi, mango, grape, lemon, acai, cola, banana, yogurt, lily koi, and pineapple. Good. That's the lemon all? one. I think I would try the lemon one. Lemon. All right, we got anything else to go over? Mm. You say that was just the Xbox game case, but we don't have to go into the lots of cool stuff coming What's that out. now? Is that the new E3 version of the Xbox? Uh, or Xbox showcase, I guess. Uh, well, E3 would have been this week, I think. Yep. So. Are they still you? doing it? No. E3's done? Yeah. They're Dead? At least canceled for this year. Wow, that's big new. E3 is done. It's probably just because of COVID. No, they, I think they had it last year. Did Buried. I? Pull out the casket. I know. E3's uh, toast. Uh, PlayStation had theirs on the second. It was pretty good. PlayStation showcase. Hmm, let's take a look. The 2022 event was canceled in full with no announced plans for a virtual event, though the ESA stated they intend to return for 2023. Not done. Temporarily knocked out. They're dead. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the Capcom showcase. Oh, shit. I think that was today, actually. Did they have anything about Resident Evil 8 Village DLC? Or if whoops. not, I'm going to lose my fucking mind because it's been a whole year since the last one. Oh, it starts in seven minutes. Hmm. The Capcom showcase. Not bad, not bad. Resident Evil 4 and more. <laughs> Which that is so exciting. Play some more. Resident Evil 4. I feel like they probably would have been better serviced making a new game with that kind of engine, but I guess they just can't get they can't quit Leon. <laughs> just have Leon in the next game. That's what I was thinking. What are we talking about? Resident Evil. Mm, yikes. Resident Evil 4. The Capcom showcase that starts in seven minutes. Mm. I'm sure you guys will get your popcorn and go and watch it. <laughs> Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, anything else to go over? Uh, Overwatch 2 is going to be free. As it should. And it comes out in As October. it should. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Is that not the new Is model? Every game should just be free now? Is no, well, just... you know what? People, games want to follow the model that Fortnite has, has established and made themselves one of the best games ever made. Made the best game ever made. Then they should make their games free. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. What do you look, mean, look, look, look at Modern Warfare. Two coming out. Who Three plays that? For the online, what? Who plays that anymore? Oh, we'll be playing when it comes out. The new one looks a little tempting, but... It's always the World War Two ones that kill it. Yeah, kill the momentum, but... But they didn't even have one this year. They had the Vanguard, the World War Two one. I thought they skipped a year. Did they? No, they're skipping after uh, uh, this last yeah, one, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2. 2 remastered. Oh, as they should. It's not remastered. It's the second one to, to the original to, one. To the new it's a, it's story. A, it's the yeah. second one to the new one. Which is actually pretty fun. Mm. Okay, anything else to go over? Mm. Hideo Kojima, now an Xbox man. I knew yeah. there was one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> Say it's what, Dan? That he's one from PlayStation to Xbox? Mm. It's pretty well. It depends what he makes. I've heard rumors that it's going to be a horror game. So. What, did he make Snake? Is that Metal Gear before? Metal Gear. So, so he's done with Metal Gears? That's, um, he doesn't work for the company, Konami, anymore, who owns it. Didn't so he also do the uh, Silent Hill games? Yep. They had that one. Well, he started... No, he was going to make one, but then he, the whole exiting the company thing happened. Mm. 
They had the paranormal it. trailer one. It looked really good. That one was cool. So if he takes any of that creativeness and brings it over to Microsoft, it should be a pretty cool game. Yeah, well, there you have it. Uh, first episode back behind the counter for June. We'll be back at it next Monday here at 5, five o'clock here at Inside Games TV. Uh, High Five is off tonight because they need to do some more episodes, So, but they'll be normally back here right after us at 6. Stay tuned for House Divided with Joey and Nico, 8 o'clock tonight. Danny Nascar right after at 9. Then we got Tyler and Austin. No, look, so we got a night of sports podcast tonight. So we got the NBA Finals going on. I think they're the NHL Finals about to start. I don't know if they're still in semis or not. Um, so between those two shows, I'm sure they got all. I didn't all... realize that. No look and uh, House Divided are now on the same note. Mm-hmm. A little, a little old... sports clash going on. A little jab here and a little jab there. See, those two won't. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to start. <laughs> I'll have to instigate a fight between House Divided and No Look. Well, they'll be going over the same... Uh... Same content, so we'll have to see how they're... Right, but one should have a different take than the other. Yeah. I mean, one's more of a critical look, and the other one's more of a... Well, panic. Nico and Joey more, more talk betting. Mm, when true. Tyler and Austin more talk basketball talk or football talk. But they, but I think they do do some betting, too. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. All right, anything else? Nope. All right, this episode Behind the Counter is out. We'll be back next week. Adios.